wait for it. We gotta wait for the players. Okay, we should be able to hear the players now. Hello? Hey -yo. Hello? We made it. We're alive. We did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, it was a challenge. I'm so sorry that we're late, but we're here. Um, I did not address the overlay for our lack of Miri, sadly. I still see um, starting soon screen. Oh, yeah, I was like, yeah. you shouldn't. <laughs> so otherwise, we got real big problems. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's waking up, you know? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we made it 40 minutes later. Um, goodness. So I've moved. I'm in a new boring room. Um, I literally, like... Oh, I can't touch it. I thought I was close enough to touch the wall. I, I was gonna be like, I literally can touch the wall behind me. That's how small it is, but I'm very close. Um, I keep having to readjust the size of my screen. Like this is gonna be a little scuffed y'all. Um, <laughs> but it's really weird. The TV that I'm using as a monitor is 1080p and obviously so is my computer. But for some reason, Every now and then it just resets itself and I have to um, I have to make it actually 1080p. Otherwise all four edges are cut off. It's really obnoxious. Um, and it just does it sporadically. I can't make it just stay the way I put it. It's very annoying. But anyway, so last time on a show that I was gonna make a joke about and now can't remember the title of. Um <laughs> But last time we played, we ended up in Tither, and we already have met a lot of very interesting characters. Um, mm -hmm. We had a centaur come up to us and tell us that Tither, well, that Prismere is dying. Um, he doesn't know how he knows, he can just feel it. And then we had a <laughs> campestry getting ready to cook themselves. Um for their goblin friend, who was from Jersey. <laughs> I will never forget that. <laughs> That's just etched into my head. <laughs> Mickey Shrumbo. <laughs> um, so now you have two campestry friends. So that's chaos, we love that. Um, what else did we have? Oh, we ended up, oh, you met a dryad who um, was severed, like her bond with her tree was severed when uh, What's-Her-Face moved in. Bad bitch number two. What is her name? Is it Nightshade? Is Granny that who we're dealing Granny with now? Nightshade. Granny Nightshade? Granny Nightshade uh, Nightshade, her yeah. Real yeah. Name. Her, I, um, her real name is like Scabatha. Yet. That's right. Scabatha Ooh. Nightshade. What a name. Um, So she chopped down this dryad's tree to basically make her little city of Loom Lurch. Um, and the dryads pissed about it and attacked you guys. And she was angry at her, like, like, angry at us. That was rude. Yeah. Like, ma'am, we don't even go here. Listen. Well, that's we why she go. figured you were one of the bad guys. Luna, what are you yeah, doing? She thought we were after Wheel of the Fae White. Yeah. Yeah, there was a, who we saw one of posters for, too. Who, I want to make Will of the Feywild, like, Billy Boyd vibes, but I hey. can't do a Scottish accent, so we'll see what happens. Um... <laughs> But, um, yeah. And then you were told by the centaur also that there is a unicorn that you can talk to about what's been going on. Um, and Clapperclaw was like, well, the only place I really know here is Nib's cave. So I can lead you there. You guys can take a rest there and do whatever you need to do in the morning. I'll go ahead and leave. Um, so you went to Nib's cave and you met Nib who used to be a slumlord and is now cursed by Granny Nightshade. He said he wanted to put all his bad deeds behind him, and that's exactly what Granny Nightshade did. So he works away at his little, you know, Rumpelstiltskin spinning wheel, turning gold into all kinds of stuff. Meanwhile, apparitions of the people that he fucked over linger behind him, which is why he is blindfolded, so that he doesn't have to actually see them as it torments him so um so he was like you guys can rest here um and I'll I'll make you guys gifts if you like and um 
Then one of your party members got a message before bed um, saying from like the, I think we decided it was the daughter of her master. Um, so Lorian was summoned away. I just realized it says that Lori. I covered up. I didn't cover up Miri's name. I covered up her character's name. So both of you are Wa. <laughs> You're both Wa. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. That's really it's funny. Okay. Wa takes over so much space that it takes over. The, the, <laughs> well, the all of the space. text sources do take up a lot of space. Um, the scrolling ones, because I was like, I'm not gonna resize those. It's just a lot of time and effort that I'm not going to put into it. Um, <laughs> so technically everyone's overlaps everyone else's. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so she got summoned. I believe she wanted to wait until morning to be able to tell you guys instead of just dipping out. Um, so un and unless there was anything, I think everyone did everything they wanted to do that night last session. Um, so you guys went to sleep. If you haven't long rested your character sheet, go ahead and do that. And don't forget to reset that boon that you got forever and a year ago from uh, the Will-O-Wisps, because yeah. that is just perpetual as far as I know. Yep. Um, I am going to uh, do the thing where I commune with dead people in the morning to give me a proficiency, and I'm going to give myself 24 hours of proficiency in the nature skill. No way. I wish I had pulled up my iPad. My iPad, when I pull you guys the campaign up, it shows your like passives. It's really nice. Yeah. It doesn't do that on the phone for some reason. Very weird. Um, but anyway. So okay. And then was there anyone like who wanted to discuss anything and do anything? Miri or Lorian will basically just kinda say that I got to go. She got a message. Um She's going to travel back to uh, Hither and to Downfall with Clapperclaw um, mm. so that she can basically be, like, summoned from there. Um, because if you remember, there was in Bavlorna's basement, there was that, that mirror, that gateway. So yeah. she's going to try to at least, like, be waiting there. If not, um, try to I use will, it. so she can get back safely. Again, I know if I, if I was metagaming, it's like, I know <laughs> she'll be fine. DM wouldn't do that. She won't need it, but Silvara doesn't know that. I will give her one of those three sycamore seeds we got, the Pass Without a Trace seeds. Ooh, nice. Okay. So I'll give her one, so if she feels that she's in danger while traveling back, she can be more stealthy. Uh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, she heads off. Um, oh, uh, with uh, Lucian is gonna give her the pixie flash. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure she would, you know, say thank you so much. I'll always remember you all, and hopefully, I'll see you again. Head off. If she does come back to guest, she may, may or may not still have these things with her when she comes back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so yeah, you wake up and Neb is working away. Um, obviously, like I said, you've said bye to Leperclaw and Lorian, and the day is yours. So basically, um, you know way, of Loom Lurch and the lake. And the pool. Yeah. The unicorn place, right? With, yeah, the pool. Yeah. Um, I think, I think my pixel chat is already broken. Yes. <laughs> right, let me... Whoa! Oh, backstage, Ellie. <clears throat> Fingies cross. Okay. Luna, don't you dare! There is absolutely no room for you. <laughs> 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 It was like, you can make room, though. No. Nope. Yeah. I'm liquid. Ooh, so I've been using my laptop to watch Bel Air uh, in bed, and they yeah. have just been traipsing across my laptop any which way they want, whenever they want. <sighs> it's 
Anyway. It's their, it's their laptop. Apparently. It's their house. <laughs> um, but yeah. What do you want to do? Um, I mean, once everyone wakes up, I guess just decide to the core. I think the the vibe is we run a, we we are all in agreement that unicorn pool is our first. That's what we want yeah. to do first. That's the more appealing option, right? And now. also, it feels like uh, it could be well a path. So we go from the cave to the pool, and then to the pool, from the pool to the place. Because yeah. Loon Lurch is that stump with the the, yeah, the trees. The, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then the pool the big body of water. Right. Water. On there. Okay, then yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. You get on up a bit. Laptop. I forgot to be down. Because now that I'm down to one monitor, <laughs> pain. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Good luck. And also, thank you for all the hard work you've been doing. It's a lot. You just move, but there's a bunch of tech stuff, and you've oh, been yeah. doing it, and uh, we appreciate you. Just wanted to say that. Thanks. Right. Also, Evan, you can hear at any point um, the music from the room next door where James is listening to music. Let me know, and I'll just mute when I'm not talking. If oh no, hear, we're like, so far so good. Like, tech techno. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, me on a second to load. Oh, there you go. Ah! Stop punching things, Briar. Oh, I guess I don't have the labeled map as a DM either. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Um, okay, so yeah, you are in fact, you are heading to the pool then? Yep. Excellent. So what is time? I think... People what? Trying to answer That's like... Please. I know. That's what, like an hour, you think? Or um, that could be longer. Hold on, skip in miles. Yeah, so skip. one mile is like... Ten-ish minutes. So 35 feet... Well, and that's one, one well ten minutes running five and a half so. it's five and a half miles so oh wow how okay long so maybe longer than 5.5 miles uh like how long will take how many hours five, around one hour and 40 minutes so about two hours okay so five and a half that's not bad miles. yeah um yeah so ah, I keep trying to use my mouse to control the laptop <laughs> that's not how things work uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah I kept doing that too it's it's disgusting. It's the but, worst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so let's see if you come across any. Exciting first roll of the game is mine. <laughs> it's um, probably like just that awkward, like, stilted silence in between forced conversation as we're all trying to not be sad. Oh! And, uh, she left, and we're just like, and then it's like, so we'll talk for a few minutes, and then there's a lull, and everyone just like shuts up for a while. And we're like, oh. <laughs> And then someone tries to like end the silence again and bring up the next conversation. Yeah. And then everyone starts thinking, oh no, who's gonna stop us when we go too far? Oh. <laughs> the mom of the group left, and the now we're, we're the a bunch of teenagers left. fucking around. Now, now we devolve into chaos. Oh no. <laughs> what, now? But also thinking everyone's okay. <laughs> More chaos. So, y'all are walking about, and like, it's. Like I said, all of the green is because we're seeing above a canopy of a forest, right? Yeah, so we're under there's the trees. roads and stuff, and you're under all of those, which is. Yeah, yeah. I understand why they depicted it the way they did, because it's really lush, but also I don't like that we can't visually see roads on the map. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. So you're walking along a road that is leading to the river, and I'll say it to. You, Unless something specific comes up later that I'm forgetting. No. That we have to uh, retcon. She is insistent. Um, <laughs> unless something comes up later that we have to retcon. I'm going to say that there's a bridge across. Because Good. it's probably very, like, well-traveled and everything. It's not going to be a fun bridge, but it's a bridge. It's It'll get you across the river safely. As long as it's not a rock bridge. <laughs> Right. No, so the last right. time it went in the water, it didn't go well. So now I feel like we would try very hard not to. Anymore. Yeah. Also, the last bridge didn't go well either, for me at least. All right. Well, those were stepping stones that were alive. Um, <laughs> but uh, so you're walking along the road, and 
you notice kind of off to the side of the road, um, there's this, uh, well, let's see if I loaded the picture in. I hope I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I tend to be okay about that. Um, where are we? We're in Tither. Yes. So, you're walking along the road. Ooh. And you see that on the side of the road. It's Albert. It's Albert. And he's yoked to, as you see, a dilapidated elven chariot. Um, and... Oh, yeah. And the chariot's empty? And the, the Yeah. Plane? The chariot oh. is empty. Um, the... Yeah. It is big Does enough to hold handy? two medium characters and their gear. Luna, no. <laughs> um, it's the whole Luna, no. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but yeah. And it looks a little stressed because you know Aww. it's by itself. It's stuck to this chariot. Um, and it, you can tell just by looking at the chariot like it's been there a while um yeah. w would um, love to go and like try to help if possible mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I would join i'm feeling emboldened by my temporary proficiency in nature i'm like i'm an <laughs> expert now with the yeah <laughs> um mm -hmm. i want to just go and cut it look, cut look the he's like, attaching it to hell? the chariot just take my gear and just start like cutting all the straps gonna, off the chariot and while Waz talks like, to it or does whatever. Like talk to the yeah. beast and try to like calm it down. So I would yeah. probably should not be either have you both I make would wait an animal behind handling it. I would check? I take out the knife and walk at it. Like I'd wait till I get there and be like, look at my knee and then take and just start trying to cut the straps. <laughs> yeah. Well, either, well, hopefully Waz the distraction. Either both of you make an animal, animal handling check or one of you with advantage. Uh, if you want to do it with advantage, to, I, uh, so I have. I, I mean, uh, up to you, because like flavor-wise, if you're the one specifically being more engaging with it, and I'm just trying to free it, and like it's more you. But if you wanna, if we're, if we're yeah, being Luffy cheeky, the... like I have a plus three to animal handling, so <laughs> I am here not to give support. System. I'm not entirely. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not bad at it, but I'm metagaming away. A plus one, like maybe is maybe we both so maybe we both roll because then if one of us spooks it, the other could like calm it down because we're both there. So maybe we both roll and then. What about what Luthien? Happens. Luthien is just oh. chilling, watching this mess. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Like... All right. If anybody needs help, I can talk to you later. By the way. Exactly. All right. Ooh. Oh, it's almost a twenty, but it's a, a two for a total of five. Ow. <laughs> what about what? <laughs> I rolled a 12. Total? <laughs> 12 total, yes. Okay. It's not um, the worst. <laughs> it's boy. not the worst. Um, so you guys are walking up and you are a Lorg turtle woman. <laughs> and she kind of sees, she sees Silvara and she does manage, like she's turning to watch you because she's like, why the fuck are you going behind me? And uh, she I, sees I, I, you I, go for the knife. I would say make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, I win those. You know, I, I'm about to be kicked like a horse, aren't I? If I do a bat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, dex save that one. A two again. I thought you said a nat one. Seven. I was like, oh no. I legit no. thought you said nat one. Yeah. No. I was like, that was such a I calm think... nat one. A two for a total of seven. Did physical dice not liking me today? Maybe I should have gone with the physical dice, but my brain. Okay, hang on. I'm about to get kicked by an I was gonna also ask you what your armor class was, but they rolled a nat 20. <laughs> oh, then it doesn't fucking matter, does um, it? Hold on, what is it? Boy. So that's 11 piercing damage. And Ooh. you're right, yeah, it was a kick like a horse kick. It's, yeah, of course it was. <laughs> um, and she does start to get a little like, more agitated. She sees you in front of her, Wa, yeah. and she like... 
She's probably gonna swing like, for you too. I just do the, like the like a once horse, I, but once I see like this starting to unfold, I'm gonna go like big with animals. Okay. Hey, um. I... Also, I'm gonna put the knife away and back away as it's kicking me. Yeah, slowly. yeah. I'd be like, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm wow, that's sorry. 13 damage for you, because natural 18 would hit you, right? Natural plus seven. Oh, plus, oh, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. 17 damage. damage, you said? No, no, sorry. 13. 13 damage. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Slightly better. Um, I take it you guys are not going to try to fight them nope. right now, we're though. Gonna Lucy, no, gonna, we're going to let yeah. Lucian take over. We tried. <laughs> um... And since they're, I'll say no reactions since they're yoked to a chariot. I mean, it'd be kind of hard. Um, but yeah, so you cast Speak with Animals, Luthien? Yeah, and I'm like, hey, hey, buddy, uh, are you alright? Do you, you, you seem to be like you need help. Are you looking for someone, maybe? She's just like, what? 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 How can you speak to me? I don't understand. How am I speaking to you? What? Um, no, I'm... <laughs> Uh, I'm not okay. Do um, you feel more comfortable if I was another animal, maybe? Uh, I, I don't. You can do that. <laughs> if you want to, I can try. No, no. I mean, this is fine because, like, we can, we can communicate now. Okay. That's really, you know, where the okay. barrier was, uh, I guess. Um, wh what are uh, what are uh, you guys I'm, doing? What uh, I'm stuck. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We were trying uh, to fix that. <laughs> I can't say anything. Uh, I don't know what it's like. <laughs> it's conversation. Yeah, it I, hears I you and it's just like... Party goes like... <laughs> right? <laughs> Lucy going like... <laughs> so, We're like, um, oh, is, is he making it better? Is he making it worse? Yeah. Ow, ow. <laughs> As we're just like, like acting up our bleeding real fast. We're like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, we wanted to... Try to maybe, maybe we should have tried to do first. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, I guess it's it. We were. Uh, you seem kind of stuck with the chariot. Like, do you need any help with that? Well, I, I just I don't know where I am. I don't know. Aww. So my my rider um looks kind of like your friend and points at Silvara. Oh shit. Um, they. They just, they got snapped, they got snatched by, by, I don't know, some monster. Um, we were trying to go to Zabilna's palace and, and this, this monster came and grabbed our, my owner and I got scared, so I just kind of ran, but now I don't know where I am. Uh, so, did, did you see what, what snatched your owner? Maybe we can maybe try help you help me find them. Let me. Also, uh, what's your what's your name? Because I, I maybe you feel more comfortable if um, I refer to you a name or the elf person. Well, my name's Juniper. Oh. Hi, Juniper. I'm Luthien. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Are these your friends? I'm sorry. I just was scared. The, oh, I didn't... Oh, no, don't, don't worry. It's... Are they gonna uh, be I okay? Probably should have... Yeah, they're, they're alright. They, they, they've been through war. So far as, like, gushing blood. <laughs> <laughs> was in the I, same I, I, position. I, it's a flesh yeah, wound. I mean, that it's okay. Like, no, <laughs> I'm just like... I, I, I'm, I'm just like, I'm like, God, I have to wash these so often. <laughs> 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 I'm, like, trying to patch myself up. Hang on, I just want to see. Um, yeah. So she's like, I I don't really know what it was, but it kind of looked like, um, what do you call them? The big scaly ones that fly. Uh, imps. No, 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 no. The big, big ones. Oh, big. Uh. I I. Look sometimes at the they breathe fire, one. but sometimes it's. This other stuff oh, that dragon. burns in a different way. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not a part of this conversation. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, ho hold on. I don't know if it was one, but it kind of looked like it. Like, in a, in a scale from like, uh, big as me 
to like Vegas and I look at the huge tree, is that tree, how would you say that it's that big? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know what size these are. It's also a good way to ask an animal how big is it. So they don't know like feet, whatever. They can just be like bigger than that, smaller than that, same size. Because like, like we are fucking it's the dragon. I'm sure Sorry that's what it is. It. Immediately, I'm like that. <laughs> yeah. I I'm sorry, buddy, but he's dead. Sorry, buddy. You said you said it looks like her. There, she's your new rider now. Be friends. <laughs> you don't need them. Uh, so I, I, I look at the party and say, I think, uh, I don't even see a stat block. And I like, maybe the rider might be there. I think a dragon took them. Hopefully it's not a dragon, then maybe it's something else. Or like, yeah, that's, dragon that's very, thing. that's very not what I said before. I don't Is think she any okay? <laughs> She's traumatized. <laughs> Oh no, ask her if we can help for cons with consent now. <laughs> Important. Also, her Important name is Juniper. Can I hug her? I'll ask that later. Thank you. Because I still have my arms open. It's a little bit of my, my fear, but I could hug a baby. So apparently, they're huge. Oh, great. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, then look at. Okay, um. So, I don't know how to... Like, it literally says huge dragon, comma, chaotic evil. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yep. did you catch by any chance the color of it? Um, I, I don't know. know. Much about dragons, like. Do owl bear, are owl bears colorblind? I don't think they are, because I don't think, think they are. owls also, or bears are, are bears colorblind. Also, yeah. I don't know if, like, actually we know that much of the owls are that they are huge scaling beings. Um... Yeah, like, in-game, I don't think we know... I don't think we know that much. I don't think the color would help. I don't know enough about the different colors of dragons. They did say I don't tired. think Jabberwocks, though, I don't think they have different colors the same way dragons do. I'm gonna load us into our scenes <laughs> so y'all can see what this looks like, just for for y'all to know. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. We don't need to fight everything we run into. I think this we is really a great don't. example I mean, of maybe one side quest we don't do. <laughs> or, we the can try, or we can try talking to you. That's I can try fucking the dragon if you'd like, but that's about the extent of what we <laughs> Wow, we well, we will. Okay, that went from zero to hundred, like. <laughs> hey, difference for reason. That's not true. Well, I wouldn't do that. So there it is. Um, real pretty. No, I regret it. I, I no, we're not doing anything. Um, it's no. Uh, imagine that, but. It's huge. I would like to remind you that it's huge. So, like, for context, I'm pretty that? sure owl bears are also that. huge. Yeah, I, like, no, they're I, I owl bears are large, so they're one size yeah, yeah, up from owl bears. I, I was like, not gargantuan. Right. How many me do you think it is? How many me? Me. <laughs> How many of me ah. standing on top of each other? What would that be like? Three. I, Right? Like, because one more of you would be large and one more would be huge? I guess. Yeah. Or no, be like four of you. Do, do owl bears, bears know numbers? I... <laughs> At least three of you, maybe four. Yeah. And that's just height. Uh, okay, so. Um, do you want us to maybe free to, like, maybe cut the restraints so you can. You know how to carry the chariot with you now? We can um, maybe see about the about your rider later, but I don't want to promise anything. Well, I, I just I don't want to be alone. I don't know my way around here. Um, uh, if, if if you want, you can join us. We are trying to fix this entire place. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, and. It, if you want, like, if you want to leave the Harriet and a couple of you 
can get in. I mean, if you want to, I don't want you to feel like we are like using you as a rider or as a free rider or anything. You are free to not need to carry us if you don't want to. I mean, you guys are going to go to... What are those big places with like food and people? Uh, the city? Yeah, that one. You, I mean, you guys go there, right? You look like the kind of people that go there. Yeah, we are you traveling do? around. So you could get me like food and stuff? Oh yeah, sure, if you want. I think actually... I kind of need a oh, lot yeah. of food. I'm assuming they eat meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only meat? Or are they oh, all The only yeah, thing it like, says here mushrooms. is... The owl bear must be fed at least eight pounds of meat every day to keep oh, her docile. Oh, shit, they are a carnivore. Yep. Yeah, Which, big, big carnivore. I wouldn't read that to you guys, but you guys can talk to her, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, and, uh, yeah. It, she could hunt for herself if she was, if we just freed her from the That's barrier. true. You guys could get me food, it. or you could let me get food, like, I don't know, once a day or something. And yeah. uh, I'll come back. I'm not, you know, I don't also, like to uh, be by myself. I'm used to being with people. Oh You'll always have a place with us. <laughs> I, I, you guys I, are I, just I adopting the, half the Feywild. We are. That's the yeah, point. We, are. we want to be a I traveling look, menagerie by the end of the day. I look at Wa and go like, uh, she wants to, like, she throws your thing in her. Oh, oh yeah, I did God. ask if I would like to, if, he sh if I could hug her. What is- I forget what those are. Head. What is that? Like... I, I look at Wa and, and like, signal in my head. I'm gonna- yeah, I'm gonna hug him Slowly. as an example. Slowly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love those! Oh, <laughs> so bad. And you, like, like hug that. one of her shoulders and she, like, pats on the back of your shell with her other hand. <laughs> and, like, you can feel her, like, chin kind of resting <sighs> on you. <laughs> Probably cry. No. <laughs> She's like, can you tell her I'm sorry again? And your other friend? She says she's sorry about that and that and I and I look at you like she's sorry about those. <laughs> okay, okay, like I nod slowly it's like it's okay. It's all good. It's okay. <laughs> she's gonna be our friend now. It's fine. This is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in the past. So, uh, yeah, I I cannot guarantee that we find your writer, but I like I think we might at least try the other. That, that would be great. Just... I miss them. They were very nice. I love you guys I seem nice too, though. Rider, rider. I'm glad you decided to um, talk to me instead um, of hurt me. Does it ask what the? I mean, it might not know, but because it might not be able to say, does it ask if it knows its writer's name. Uh, do you do you know the uh, the name of the the, uh, of the human of name? The writer the writer that was with you, like what oh, they were. The only people? time I know what you guys are saying is when this is happening. Ah. And they were mostly by themselves, so they didn't have anyone calling them for me. Uh, did, did you see in, in, like, the direction they went? Um... Because maybe that could... No... That's, even if she did, she ran away from where it happened and doesn't know where she is now. She got lost. No. Just a baby. I, like, Just a baby. bent her head. <laughs> She's kind of <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, but you have a new friend now, and two of you, plus Riv, <laughs> can fit. I don't know. Maybe Riv's wings get tired. I'd still rather know. just like say fuck this chariot, and she was just here for moral support, and <laughs> maybe a, uh, in the muscle and some combat, and oh, that oh. way she can feed herself. Yeah. You can put stuff in the chariot. Home. She says she's okay. Uh, taking like two people for a ride or something when we travel. If you yeah, if anyone gets hurt or if you guys want to sleep on the road or I don't know. Yeah, the ball. If he, if it's not uncomfortable for her and she's okay with that, then 
We can keep the chariot. And, uh... What's done? I look oh, great. Fancy <laughs> fancy. It looks so pretty. <laughs> we are adopting the entirety of the Feywild well by this point, yep. I think. I'm very excited I'm for this. I'm holding back, yeah. I promise. Two campestries <laughs> and a... Whole ass yeah, owl bear. Like I mean, how many I chances know. are you gonna have in D and D to befriend an owl bear? Right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Onwards to. The so I would say I, that I, was I, about I look, an hour or so oh, into your. Oh, oh. while walk. we're walking, I'm like Luthien, can you also maybe tell it? Um, we're 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 going to meet a unicorn, which might look very delicious, but I would rather we we really need it not to hurt the unicorn. That's a good point, actually. We could feed her before we go to the unicorn. Yes. Like, we do the eat whole before eating before. Yes. yes. If that is, <laughs> you know, acceptable. She'll be full. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so she's not hungry and looking at before a unicorn the, like, mm, Before the unicorn runs out, I'm like, be so, uh, Juniper, hmm? we are on a meet, like, uh, you know what a unicorn is? No. You know, what do they look like? Do, do you know how, do you know what a horse looks like? I don't know. What does a horse look like? Uh, Was gonna go and like <laughs> me try to imitate a horse in front of her. Uh, I, I can, I can. Oh, oh those I... ones. Oh yeah. I, when she recognizes that, they I will... sound funny even when they're doing it. Like, it's like that, but with a horn. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one over, right? I think I saw one. Oh, you, 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 you saw it? Yeah. I think so. There was some water that we passed by, and I think, I mean, it was definitely, you said they're called horses? It was definitely one of those. I don't remember if, I, it was too far away. I don't know if I saw a horn or not, but yeah. So yeah. Uh, You're going back over there? Yeah, we, we, yeah we're gonna go find the unicorn. Uh, if you're hungry, please tell us that. Please don't attack the unicorn, because we kind of oh. need to. Talk to them. Oh no no, it's fine. I ate today, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um. Uh, if you need anything, just you know, nudge my hand or something, because this kind of doesn't last forever. So. Oh right right right. Okay. Thank you, and I bet her head again. Yeah. And she knows the way to the bridge too, so she can like lead you. So she says, she remembers she when she says she, she saw the unicorn, so she's gonna lead us there. That's nice. Perfect. Oh, okay. okay. Good friend. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So that was about. So you got about like forty minutes of walking time with her, um, and then you get there. Let me get to. Hello. There it is. Beep, beep. Let's see. Okay. So as you are approaching the lake, it's still a bit of a ways ahead. Um, yeah. You can see it in the distance and you can tell you're starting to get closer. You all start, or not all of you, uh, Luthien and Laura I'm just okay. mixing character and player names. What are you considered Fey? Okay. No. Furbolgs are touched, right. Currently. Uh, sorry, what? Are Furbolgs considered Fey? Uh. I forget. I am. Uh, uh they're in in Netherdeep. We've been playing it that way because our Furbolgs from the Feywild, but I don't know if that's a canon thing or an us thing. Uh, yeah, they are they are related to face. Okay, so yeah, Luthien, Silvara, and Riv. Um, and you notice, obviously, she can't really express it, but you do notice a little bit of a spring in um, Juniper's step too. But you all kind of feel just a little more. Um, not springy, I guess, but you feel like you're blending in a little bit. Um, so you guys would have advantage on stealth checks. Okay, cool. Um, nice. Yeah. Um, you just notice that as you're approaching. And let's see. 
There is an islet in the middle of the lake that will require uh, some swimming. So uh, Juniper won't be able to come with you anyway. She'll is that where we have to go? For you. Is yeah. There? You see... Oh. Um, well, actually... Time to spin. Yeah. Um, you don't see any sign of a unicorn currently, but you do see. Can I, as we get there, can I look for like hoof prints in sure. the in the ground or any other sign yeah. that it's there? So whatever I roll for this nature. Oh, survival. Okay. As I can I do nature? Can I argue nature? Can I do that? Feel free to. Yeah. Survive. Yeah, because I mean, looking for tracks and stuff, it's like on that border. And, I, and also because of feeling like I'm very in tune with my surroundings. Right, yeah, yeah. Feeling right now. So whatever this rolls, I get an additional plus two because of the temporary proficiency. Oh, yes. So uh, yeah. 17 total. Yeah, so you do see... There's part of you that does see like very faint hoof prints. Um, okay. But you, there's also just a sense. Like you know you're in the right place. Can't fully explain why, but you just know that you're in the right place. Um, so and you instinctively to look to the the islet's highest point, and you yeah. see um, it's thirty feet above the surface of the water, and okay. you see an iron bowl. So you just yeah. Think like, shit, it must be huge know. for me to see it. Like it's not like you know like. It's not a soup bowl, bowl. no. Oh, it's like it's yeah, more. It's, like it's almost it's... like a brazier. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that is up. It's more like you're seeing it, you know, from far enough away that you can see the top of this thirty foot. Yeah. Thing basically, and you can see it's like set up there. It looks very intentionally set up there. I mean, it is an iron yeah. bowl in the middle of nowhere, but okay. um, yeah. Does it look like it's floating, or is it like a fountain? No, no, no. It's standing on the surface of the okay. islet. Cool. It's just that it slopes, you know, up 30 feet. So uh, we left uh, Juniper on the other side of the river, right? Yeah, so y'all will have to swim. Yeah. When we're leaving her, I'm gonna, like, uh, read the craft and put a flower on her. Oh. <laughs> Getting Wait, a, shell, a shell flower to immediately. I, I, I want to <laughs> right back. I love that everyone just decorates. Right back. <laughs> and she just kind of like nods and she's gonna stay there. She's gonna hang out. While well, going full, like, it's gonna be okay, baby. It's fine. We're gonna be right back. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay yeah. baby. <laughs> like, when, like, there's people who, like, whenever you leave and you tell your cat, like, it's okay. We're gonna be it's back. <laughs> yeah, it's me, full on. And now, while with the whole entire The babies have here. to know. Yeah, of course. They do have to know. But yeah, so yeah, you go for a swim. Nothing happens on the swim. You just have to do it. Obviously, Riv is flitting yeah. along. <laughs> you don't have to do anything on my feet. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, and when you do get up to the bowl, um, you see that it's filled with coals. Okay. I'm. I'm assuming this is one of those. This meant to be lit some sort of like signal for something the question is do we think it's a friendly signal or do we light this and like the thing that ate its rider appears like it... i mean there's one way to find out i but or or maybe there's more than one before we just decide i mean i i'll look around trying to see like if i maybe can find like are there any more, like, hoof prints or anything on, on here, around the, the region? Here you don't really see any. Gosh, uh, are the, the, the campus trees still just, like, in water shell? Yeah, they're chilling. Can we ask them? Sure. What the campus tree is that long? Take a poly. <laughs> you, you like you, you like knowledge. Oh, oh Bailey, it's a pretty girl. She was in the window and she came to bed. This is your 
obligatory <laughs> packs because you made yourself visible. And now you're going to get real upset in about 20 seconds. I just realized Campestries have a 4 in intelligence. That's super okay. Don't worry about it. Our Campestries are so special. They are. I mean, actually, it was you know, mainly Capaldi. Capaldi's been Mickey reading. Will... Yeah. Like Mickey Mushroom. Uh, <laughs> Mickey Shrumbo. Mickey Mushroom. <laughs> Mickey Shrumbo has been. She's no. Mickey yeah. Mushroom is his father, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> I mean, we did find him in a very <laughs> not the smart disposition, so, you know, that kind of adds up for baby. Um, but yes, what would you uh, like to ask Kopalbi, the Feywild savant mushroom? <laughs> well, just like, Laura. does he recognize this? Like, it is or uh, what this might be for? Has he heard of this? Like, thing? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a seven on the die for a four total. Um, <laughs> <Made of trees. laughs> Um, and he's like, well, to be fair, um, I'm kind of just from Hither. I, I don't know. I have never really been outside of Hither or, you know, that pantry that you found me in. So, sorry. Oh, what a shot. I don't see... There might be something in the burnt book. Yeah. Um, did Beth Lorna... I hate this. Right. Where did. Oh, so many dabs. Here we go. Um. So, you don't see anything like specific or Capaldi. <laughs> hasn't seen anything specific in the burn book um, about, like, anything that Unicorn has done. Um, he's more looking, you know, he's looking for a unicorn, first of all, because you guys don't know the unicorn's name. So, <laughs> yeah. um, he's just looking for anything about a unicorn. And there's, like, you know, some scribbled notes about, like, unicorn horn as, like, an ingredient in potions. Yeah. There's, like... But all they really find is that there is a unicorn in Tither that um, gave them some problems, but nothing major, like nothing specific. Just the fact, like the unicorn doesn't like the hourglass coven. That's kind of basically. I just want to make sure we're gift. not lighting like the breakfast beacon for anything else. I'm sure it's for the unicorn. <laughs> right, so, right, like, right. Abundance of I look, yeah. I look for Mickey Shrumbo. Hey, buddy, are, are you still around, or...? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just chilling. Okay. Uh, so... Just... Got some cool okay. spices in, in the shell. Don't put them on yourself, uh, remember. Like, covered. <laughs> Preparing oh, a bath no, already. No, no, no. Thank <laughs> you, please. Okay, we're enjoying it. Just don't... Don't do that for other people's benefits. But if it's something you enjoy, then I'm not here to stop you. <laughs> I, I look at one like, how much stuff do you have in there? I lost count. It's been many years. I mean, it's, it's a of shell house. of holding. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of, it's, it's my house. You know, it's. it's <laughs> he got bad. into the pantry. <laughs> yeah, he got into the shell's pantry. No biggie. What do you. I like to think when you go into your shell, like you shrink down to just smaller <laughs> turtle size, so you can walk around the shell. Or, or maybe the, or maybe the shell is bigger on the inside. Right. <laughs> yes, I like that specifically for Sunny. Yes. Yeah. Just have a, two creatures, a bunch of flowers, and a, a whole book, and mm -hmm. it's comfortable for everyone, yeah. including myself. So it I definitely. Like, I like, how do you It's, it, it's a long story. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I think Sunny's captions are broken. It, they are, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they have been for a little bit. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. So, like, hold on, hold I, like, on. remove a bit of uh, spices from Mickey. Like... So... What's a paprika? What's <laughs> a paprika? It blends in with the toadstool look. 
Uh, have you heard anything about uh, a unicorn around this place? I think, um, I think Croa mentioned a unicorn, but he didn't really care about the unicorn. Is he? Uh, <clears throat> a big, a skinny creature flying around? Um, uh, snatching people? I don't know anything about that. Are we gonna get snatched? No, no. hopefully we I'm won't. hoping not. Plan is to not, that's for sure. You, you, you know, I, I don't think we 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 were that well under pressure of like somebody getting snatched. I look at the, at the rest of it. I don't think we 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 would work that well under that pressure. We usually make things worse when like trying to calm people down of like oh no it's something bad gonna happen because i wasn't stressed and now i am and we were very good at making people feel anxious which is not a very good thing to be uh not be proficient we're just in. trying to be informed you yeah know? i feel like while you're doing this while is like actively trying to like either like asking sid for fire or trying to get I was gonna say if anyone's gonna light it's yeah. like alright Sid just do yeah. your thing while well, you're just having go. conversation like just oh yeah does Sid wanna, have like, a fire yeah. cantrip <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> I've been using like, fire cantrips in Baldur's like... Gate to light every single candle just cause Yes. Oh. So this is how we die, huh? <laughs> this is how we go. This is how we die. Um, yeah. So you That's light the uh, barbecue. <laughs> you light the brazier, and uh, the lakeshore mists part to reveal a white horse with a single gleaming horn on her brow. She stands perfectly still, silently observing it. So she is back on the shore of the lake. Well, lots of swimming today. <laughs> so we got to go to she better still not be there when we get to the other side. <laughs> this could be a problem. So do you think, do you think the unicorn speaks uh, normal language or like... Because we're gonna find out when we get there. Maybe they speak unicorn, I don't know. Unicornese. Unicorny. Uh, so you guys swim over there? And is 250 feet away from the That's far. Y'all did a lot of swimming. Yeah. That's that's a lot of swimming. We're busy. We're burning calories. Oh today. yeah. Hey, Riva's bobbing. <laughs> yeah. Riva's like, yeah, that's my normal thing. Yep, all the time. <laughs> I imagine Riv has like hummingbird wings going at all times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like sometimes just like stops on someone's shoulder yeah, or right. on top of someone's head like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll go back and yeah. keep an eye on it. Yeah. Otherwise, um, it may have to be like a someone stays on the island to light it while the others are already there if it starts to like leave by the time we get back there. It may have to figure that out. And I'm assuming Riv can go faster since, you know, mm -hmm. she can just fly. I don't know how everyone else's the swimming speed goes but i how does swimming I'm... speed go again because it's not the same as your walking speed right? no. uh, hold on i have that on my cheat sheet because that's going to be important that was a special energy. thing about board i think it's being a terrain. oath of the open sea paladin or whatever unless they have a noted swimming speed after each hour of swimming we also have to make constitution saves or gain exhaustion Swimming through deep water, similar to traveling at high altitude. But that's fine, we're not. It's 30 water, feet 30 deep. Feet. But we're, we're swimming yeah. on the surface, we're just like right. going back and forth. Um, I don't have notes about speed. I have notes about visibility, distance. I didn't write down. Um, so I do have a, a thing here. I think, I think it will be like the cross terrain, right? While climbing or swimming, each foot of movement costs one extra foot. 
Unless so, yeah. it has a climbing or swimming speed. So, so yeah, it's, it's like difficult terrain, basically. Yeah. So our movement speed is halved, unless we have a swimming yeah. speed. Okay. Or so if you would like to make us roll for it to see how well we're doing the thing, also at your discretion. Yeah, no, definitely. I would say just two. One for the trip there, one for the trip back. What are we rolling? Con saves, you said? Or okay, checks? Con? Well, good. If you're swimming for an hour or more, you roll a save. How long does uh, 250 yeah. feet take? To oh, swim no. to oh, almost ripped my uh, external hard drive off. The Swimming pace oh. calculator. I just found that. <laughs> uh, distance. I don't want kilometers. I want feet. I want feet. Says two hundred and fifty feet. Um. Oh, that's but that's uh, a pace yeah. Or a time that doesn't help me. I want feet. Um, that's the different side. That's a pace calculator. Here, the average pace is five minutes and 55 seconds per kilometer. And there's a lot of feet in a kilometer. Okay. So it's like four feet. Four feet. Yeah, yeah, okay, then you're good. At Stop. least two. Um, so, it was what, half of your movement speed? Who has the fastest yeah. movement speed? And what is your fly speed, Riv? Do you have a fly speed? I do, but. Because Waz and Turtle. And I can't You'd think that, wouldn't you? You think you think that. I mean it's a turtle. No, Waz is more toy. human than turtle. Waz is just a turtle yeah. shaped human. Right? Turtle so Waz is super heavy. Turtle. There's also that. So yeah. Be like be, she would maybe be able to swim. Oh your fly speed's the same as your walking but... speed. Um okay. yeah, I'll say what uh what is your walking speed for Wa? Thirty feet? Thirty, yeah. I'll say your swim speed is thirty five. So you probably get there right before Riv, because Riv is flying along, and like, even though her speed is the same, it's like, you know. It's yeah. less effort. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, less effort. Mm -hmm. um, and she's working, she is going at her normal fly speed instead of going, so, mm -hmm. sorry, not 35, tw uh, 20. Yeah, yeah 20. I, I, mm -hmm. So you're still faster than friends, but Riv is still the fastest. Um, so mm -hmm. when you get within 60 feet of the unicorn um it's gonna disappear, isn't it? she asks you and you realize like this is in your head um she asks you who you are and and why you're here oh i don't hear it no, she's asking Riv. No, it's just Riv. in oh, our I'm head. Oh, okay. Um, hey. do I do I say out loud? I don't. I feel kind of lost. I don't know why we're here. <laughs> oh. Can you help me give an answer? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're um, here to save the Witchlight Carnival and and find so, Zabilna. Yeah. So like, basically, the whole thing is to find Zabilna. Basically, so you could basically say that if you wanted to or if you want to be more specific you could say that you know you heard there's a unicorn here that might help you take down the hourglass coven like okay um, pretend I said all of those things yeah <laughs> and and she you kind of see it's almost imperceptible but you do kind of see her image like solidify in a way when you say that the answer wrong she was gonna leave you for being bad people <laughs> um that's the test <laughs> and so she's like okay well i'll wait for your friends to get here um Reeve, yeah. ask her about the corn <laughs> <laughs> and yeah you guys get there and um i, I while we're walking there i, I look at sid and go like hey do you, do you see they, they actually speak the uh, normal language, or...? And you hear in your head, like, I think you'll be able to understand me just fine. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> and this horse, ah. like, she's just, I mean, she's a unicorn. And she's just kind of looking at you. She looks so, like, serene and peaceful. She has her own little, like, you know, model fan flowing kind of deal like her mane just looks oh luxurious God. and fancy um but there's nothing That's like cool. silly and pretentious about it like she's just gorgeous you know um but yeah she's I, she's I like i the, the, the 
Paladin from the DMD movie comes to mind when you say that. Hey. <laughs> because he is gorgeous. Okay. And she's Richard like, Sean um, is a freaking god. If you if you are enemies of the Hourglass Coven, then I'm more than willing to help you. Is she saying quest. that to everyone or to one person? Yeah, she's talking to all of you okay. at this point. I, I everyone else look has a look of comprehension on their face. I'm like, I don't I don't understand. Am I missing something? Because I like, hear like, nothing. Do, do we talk? Do we talk out loud, or do we like have to talk in our heads, or how does this work? Well, what, what? What do you mean, talk in your head? Of course, talk. I don't know. You I don't hear her. Do you, yeah. hear, hear what? The oh, the unicorn. Oh. oh. No, right. This would be a problem. Shit. Uh, um. And you see me take off a ring I'm wearing, <laughs> and then go. All right, just try. Let's try again. And you, she's like in the middle of a sentence, basically saying like, you know, oh, the, uh, the Prismere's been split up by the Hourglass Coven. It used to be solely the domain of Arch, the Archphase Abilna. Um, but she was usurped by her cruel hag stepsisters. Stepsisters. Oh, that's new information. <laughs> Can the relish it? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And you see, so. as she's saying these things to you, you hear behind you, like, the water moving around. And if you turn around, like, you see that, like, it's forming liquid sculptures of, like, Zabilna and then the hags and Prismere and the palace and all this stuff. So, knowing that they are their, her stepsisters, do you think she'll be mad if she were to find out that maybe, I don't know, somehow, probably one of them at least is not alive. Somehow. Um, he says, well, that's unfortunate, but Zabilna, she's a bit of a pragmatist, and if it is how you had to proceed, if it's how she is freed, I don't think that she'll take issue with it. In our def in the defense of what might or may not have happened, we, uh, did we tried so hard to not. So, we did. Yeah. We gave it. She did. And we tried we gave to her put off. We tried to use our words. Like civilized people. And then, our, yeah. Our internal voices mostly. <laughs> um... And yeah, she's like, look, Zabilna was ready for this word, vainglorious and deceitful at times. But her magic kept Prismere safe and isolated. And that ended when the Hourglass Coven captured my mate, Eladon, stole his horn, and used its magic to imprison Zabilna in her stronghold, the Palace of Heart's Desire. Speaking okay, of hold, hold up. That's a lot to write. Down. Hold. Up. So they mm -hmm. captured her mate, mm -hmm. Eladon. They said his name. It's like Eladon. Eli and then D O N. Sorry, I gotta Stole adjust my fan again. And they used used it to imprison Sibylla in something of hearts, something. Palace of Hearts Desire? Is that what it was? Yeah, that's her palace. My fan is not on me. Oh well. <laughs> cool. Alright, I'm good. Continue. That... Hmm? Go ahead. <laughs> you talking about asking Zabilna on a date? <laughs> a unicorn. Yeah, that's that's I That's mean... a whole other there are I... lines being crossed there. <laughs> I, I, um, do I even hear that? Like, I, meanwhile, well, you guys that, are not connected. It's happened. a one. You guys are connected yeah. to the unicorn. Oh, to the okay. unicorn. You guys are not um, all connected. So, uh, okay, okay, okay. you do see a little bit of agitation in the unicorn. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I got the unicorn horn that I have. I'm like, I'm sorry if this is um, uncomfortable or bad. Do you recognize this horn? Um, it's the one that I got from the 
from the, the, the emo triplet ladies. Oh, you might want to specify we didn't take it from the, like we weren't no. to remove it from the I, No, I, I, we yeah. retrieved this. Trying to, it, you would think that it would say something there? Because it's a unicorn horn. It feels kind of Apparently important. Apparently it's I gave just my a generic away. unicorn horn. Yeah, did I just give my dancing away for a generic unicorn horn? I mean, even a generic unicorn horn is a pretty special exactly. Thing. And I mean, I I prefer it with us than with literally anyone else we've been meeting around here. To be fair, apart from for now. yeah, um, apart from the specific unicorn. Hopefully, <sighs> yeah. I don't know. It doesn't say. I feel like it should be right because you found it and everything. So. But it doesn't say, and it didn't say at the time that you guys got it either, like in yeah. that little blurb. I mean, if it, I think if it was important, then it would have said it. It should say, yeah? Yeah. Then maybe it's just, like, unicorn horn is still a pretty cool thing, even if it's not from, like, a named unicorn. To be right. Yeah. But Charm was also stealing a bunch of stuff from mm. Bavlorna, so I feel like yeah. maybe it could be. She would recognize that, though, if it was... You know what? Unless it pops up somewhere down the line and we have to retcon, I'm gonna say that it is, because it just makes sense. Like, that would be weird to put a red herring unicorn horn. You know? Fair. So, I'm gonna say that it is. And, <laughs> and she sniffs it and she looks at it and she says, its magic seems to be gone or dormant, but I'm pretty sure that this is it. Um, so it it might be what you need to free Zabilna, but I don't I don't know where Eladon is, and unless that is his horn, I don't know where that is either. I'm pretty sure Eladon's being held by one of the hags, um, or maybe all of them in some other location. Um, because I, there's, an, if he died, I, I would have sensed it. I'm so sorry. Thank you. That's fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. It's just like this <laughs> beautiful model horse, all elegant and shit, and we're just like, um, that's fucked that's up, fucked up, man. So man, man. <laughs> man <laughs> holy wondering. shit. Well, we're here to help. Just uh, if we're told you might finished. be able to help. Um, any, any inklings on maybe, um, we're, well, specifically, we're, we're looking for, um, the one, one member of the coven right now. Um, Nana Poison Plant, Granny Hemlock, whatever her name is. Um, <laughs> and any idea if she has any, any weaknesses or any, um, I don't know if any, any maybe, like, tricks or at anything she is particularly prone to or anything More that she would like we can um, use against her i i think if you spin around three times in a random circle she has to like do the hokey pokey you know something like that <laughs> i actually don't know um i could tell you about the palace but i don't sure, really yes. know anything about any nightshade that would be very helpful thank you um so as far as getting there, uh, there is a dandelion in Yon. Um, his name is Amador. <laughs> the dandelion has a name? Yep. The, the, he can, yeah, the he can lead there. you to the palace. <laughs> the way this, in the state that things are right now, I don't, but also, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> So the palace sounds like it's a later because hither, thither, yon. We'll be going there next because the way just it's the way this place fucking works. <laughs> clearly, yeah, we have to deal with with. So we have to with deal many, with the many. lady here before we go to yon and then get to the palace. But we will definitely make it a point yeah. to find Eladon. Thank do you. Not worry. Um. When Zabilna ruled Prismere, uh, no one could enter her palace without an invitation. 
but I don't think that the Hourglass Coven can exert those same restrictions. Um, so I think you guys should be okay for going in. Um, and I know that there's a library on her second floor. It has all of her favorite books. Um, and as you're getting closer, be very careful because there is a dragon-like creature that uh! um, lives in the palace and frequently patrols the forest. Um, he tries... We heard. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he has tried to get here, but um, the lake here has protective magic, so... Do you know of a maybe uh, an an elf old, writer uh, yeah, that may have gone missing? Writer. Um, I don't know. I it doesn't surprise me. Um, it was probably the easiest thing to grab. Was it from? And she kind of gestures toward the owl bear. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, what do you think are the odds that they are still? Alive? Around, you know. Once the Jabberwock sets its eyes on its prey, it rarely gives up the hunt. Yes. So, I would imagine its prey also doesn't last very long okay. once it's caught. I might have I the, the nest is in the castle, right? Uh, if, if it lives in a nest, living there. it, it oh, lives okay. somewhere I mean, in the where, palace. Where oh, okay. Um, it could be in the courtyard. It could be. I would imagine the courtyard, but I don't know. Um. So you went into the palace, right? Or do you just know all of this from like general? I've visited with the Belma before. Okay. But I, of course, haven't been. You know, since everything. Hit it a lot? I don't really know anything about it. I... I just kind of ward it away. Because <laughs> I don't want to be eaten. Um, no, other than hiding. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's fair. Um, the palace is, like, in a different, and this is, like, more sunny asking because they just said it. Uh, the palace is in, like, a different, like, oh, in a different mist mm -hmm. space than it's here, in right? So it's even yeah. technically in a different space than Yawn, I think. Yeah, it's like a separate like. And that's what the dandelion area. would help you with. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, the same so way yeah, Clapper Claw. Like, yeah, it's you. not like she could point us and like ah, the palace is in that direction, and you. Need I mean, to... she could point in the direction, but. Yeah, just, not yeah. the same. Mm -hmm. Um. Fair. Yeah, and as you are talking, hold on. Load the phone. I kind of forgot that this would be a possible. I don't have a map for it. Apology. Wow, I think I have an idea to get to the palace. But we might need something to make other members of the party small and then big. Are you thinking of putting them in my shell? Maybe. <laughs> okay. And I'm thinking. So as you're talking, no. <laughs> um, you see this kind of goblinoid creature. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe it is a regular height. Oh, it's a regular height person. They just look very small. Um, they spring out of the woods and attempt to attack the unicorn. Can I use my reaction? Oh, I, 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 I thought you were going to say Juniper. No. I thought you were going to say Juniper. Aww. I was like, 
Don't you dare. Oh, but still, I would like to protect the unicorn if possible. <laughs> oh yeah, but like, I, I, I'm much more worried about what, what they could do to Juniper than what they could do to the unicorn at this point. Um, the first attack you see is like a wild <gasps> failure. Good. But the second Get attack fucked. does hit. No! Pretty squarely. That's who's attacking, by the way. Is like what is damage? Is that what I'm is gonna do to them? Five damage. And um, I think if you guys are okay with it, we can take a break right here. That can yeah, I have to go I to the bathroom? And that'll give me a chance to also set up a map real quick. Yeah. So we're gonna take a quick break. Um Ooh. let me make sure you guys are I forget like which mouse controls which thing.
We are almost back. Oh, there's Sunny. Okay, let me unmute the players as well. Don't want to forget that. All right, the players have been released. They're in combat. We have a map. Oh, I'm showing the wrong. Don't look. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't look at stream. You guys can look at the map. <laughs> All right. I'm so excited. Let me go to the map over here too. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I have two. Uh -oh. oh, I see. I see. I see. I'm gonna learn how to use D and D Beyond today. That's the wrong map. Not... What okay. heck? Where did it go? Oh no! I'm so sorry. How oh, dare you? Where did it go? In this one, it's cool. People are dead already. <laughs> <laughs> Did we win? Did we win? <laughs> yeah. I'm so confused. I don't know where this... Oh, maybe I have to refresh on this end. Because I'm trying to look at it on my laptop. Uh -huh. Because the desktop is going to... Um, green. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have to rejoin. Technical things, please. Can we just behave? No, I never signed up for behaving. I didn't agree to this. I know my rights. <laughs> okay, Bob. <laughs> I love that he was named Bob, by the way, Laura. Yeah, I gotta say, that's that's a Laura thing. Laura, I need to, I need to hit you up about a Bob. Uh, situation. <gasps> By the way, what? I was gonna talk to you earlier today and I forgot. I was gonna like throw a completely random thing that no one knows about on stream. No. Yeah. Oh, I found it. I'm a dingus. Let's it go. called itself the name of the map, <laughs> but it also wasn't showing up on on my other computer. Anyway, this unicorns big. Right? Yeah, unicorns yeah. are big apparently. They're huge. The fair horses are also big, but there are some pretty tall oh. horses. This be true. Yeah. Sorry, I'm adjusting my screen size, but go ahead and roll initiative. initiative. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um. And I'll actually. That's the third two. I oh have my gosh. Today. Digital dice like this. Two, 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 four. Don't worry, you still, you still yeah. ended up with more than me. I did, for a total of five. I got a four. Seventeen. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, and Riv got a six. And that's my only good roll in the entire day, probably. Oh. Refresh, reconnect. Oh. Also, it also doesn't show for me, though. I see it on my end, on the combat tracker. Oh, cool. That's all it that matters. Oh. I'm not looking at the combat tracker. Yeah, but I don't roll, see Steve. It automatically updates it on the combat tracker if you roll. Mm. Steve, you oh. rolled a 19? Okay, I put that in. Um, Luthien is not on the combat tracker yet, but what did you roll, Luthien? 17? Uh, 17, yeah. Well, okay. It doesn't let you put three digits. Good to know, because I accidentally fat fingered. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled 102. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, let me just double check. Is everybody there? I see a Sid, I see a Luthien, I see a Riv, I see Silvara, I see Wa, and I see all the NPC. Okay. Oh, I do hear the nature things. Yeah, you hear the nature yeah. things? I heard them on my laptop. I don't hear them on my desktop for some reason. Um, because I, I was so confused. I was like, did a window open? Like, I don't. <laughs> Alrighty. So the owl bear goes first. But Hell yeah. The owl Look bear up, also is very far away. Um, <laughs> so let me just see. We've got to beak and claws. You got this, Juniper. Beak and claws and claws and, and the beak. Beef. Um, boop, boop, boop. oh my god, I keep losing everything. There we go. Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna have to use the ruler to see where she can go. You got 15 feet that way. 
She can go wherever her heart desire. <laughs> and what is an owl bear's movement speed? It is yes. 40 feet. Yeah, she's got the movement. Yeah. Nice. So Fuck him up, Jennifer. She is gonna oh, do no. she's gonna go around, of course. What what oh no what? I just saw things popping up on the the combat tracker. I'm scared. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh that's a lot of things. Wait, what? And some of us rolled real low. A lot of things. There's only I'm three. I think all of the enemies weren't showing up before. Or is there There's only the two enemies. Oh, oh there's from the Oh, something's wrong then. In the combat tracker. I know, I'm looking at it. Oh, we can see. Well, I've seen oh, one of the, the, the I can see the. Yeah. yeah, I mean, some of them are grayed out, so I guess those are. From the, they must be from the other scene. From, from the was, dryad. Yeah. That's really that's weird, because I don't yeah. see any of oh, that. Oh, they're online. gone now. They just oh, disappeared yeah. again. Okay. <laughs> that's what we did to happen for again. all of us at the same time. That's so that's bizarre. Really all right, I, well, we the old fight stuff. Owlbear is going to do a beak and a claw. They're both plus seven to hit. Oh, get him. Okay, okay, okay. The beak definitely hits. And so does the claw. The craw. Um, we've got what? A D oh. <laughs> a D ten and two D eights. Let's go, Jennifer. There's like I'm gonna fuck you up. And it's plus five and plus five. so plus ten to whatever I roll. Twenty. Thirty points of damage. Oh, Jennifer. Oh, holy. And with that, he is already a. Exceedingly fucked up. Um, Good. By the way, a cloaked figure springs from the forest and, with blades flashing, attacks the unicorn. Under the assassin's cowl, you see a wide, toothy smile. Um, I just want to make sure that there's nothing that happens if... Um, you know, if you get him past a certain point. Yeah. If he surrenders because he's gotten so fucked up, he's like, oh my god, I have regrets. Yeah. <laughs> like, if they take 30 damage in one hit, they're like, I reckon they're like, uh, uh, yeah, I think I've made some poor <laughs> like, choices. That, here that, that's all of my entire health. That's a little bit of my. Well, you have 30. We love you, Juniper. 32. Oh, that's fair. Okay, so. Well, I currently have less than that. He, I'm gonna say just the sheer amount of damage that it did. He's prone now on the ground. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And he's looking around like, what the fuck? I didn't know there was gonna be a goddamn owl bear. What the hell? And he is gonna try to crawl away. But lucky for him, <laughs> owl bear can't react. Um, can the unicorn, though? She can, but instead of hurting him, she's going to do what she's supposed to do on her first turn. She's going to teleport mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. So she's just going to get out of this tangle and be over here. Um, but yeah, and he is just... And he looks at the unicorn. He's like, I didn't know unicorns could do that. And he just looks so disgusted with himself and he's in so much pain. Um that much about anything clearly yeah he he's starting to crawl back let's see he, he's probably 30 feet like everyone else yeah um so he's gonna crawl back as far as he can ah select I forget that it doesn't switch from ruler to select automatically. It just selects automatically. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it would, but I get why All it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so he goes back as far as he can, and that makes it, I believe, whose turn? <laughs> Someone rolled a 19. Oh no, actually, it's it's that guy's turn. So he is going to dash then, since it's his turn. 
Um, technically, he'd be off map. So pretend he's 60 feet away from the owl bear, not 30. I just don't want to yeah. go all the way off map because that's obnoxious. <laughs> Fuck him up. He was. He's like crawling back. Like, yeah. So, yeah. We could actually say he's moving half speed, so he is 30 feet away from the owl bear because he's not even getting up. He's crawling away. Very hurt. Very hurt. Fair. He's like probably bleeding out. <laughs> Good. So he's like, yeah, thirty feet away from the alpha. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I understand now. Right? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Just so you know, you cannot do non-lethal with magic. Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. Hell yeah. Yeah. I would say I would say you could dash and then um if you want to make a I would say you can either make an insight check to check his like demeanor or you can make um if you want to pin him like you're saying you could make a Athletics check with... I'll say with advantage, since he's real fucked up. Because it's just a matter of keeping him from getting up and keeping him still, rather than... tackling him down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna... contest with disadvantage. Because he... Yeah, athletics. Yeah, he got a nat one. Ooh. You, yeah, you won. <laughs> oh my god. He's... I was picturing him on his back, but either way. <laughs> I assume you have a boot on him. Yeah, I was like on his you know like i don't know anyway <laughs> yeah like kind of scoot crawling you know <laughs> but either way <laughs> well because he got knocked on i picture prone is getting knocked on your ass like knocked on your back you know <laughs> but yeah either way <laughs> No, he his picture made him look short, Just but he's an orc, cool. so I guess he's about as tall as you. Like average person height. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna say that he does take one damage from you sitting on him. Uh, <laughs> and now he's dead. No, <laughs> no he's very left. close though. One <laughs> like you have never seen a person go from like clearly being just a normal like healthy dude to having almost no blood in their body this quickly ever in your life. <laughs> like it's you. See, yeah. In my head, I already just started making jokes about a stereo. <laughs> um, but the hyperfixation is so real though that it's I like know. everything reminds me of him and him is Baldur's Gate <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um, so yeah you, you're you sitting on him you can go ahead and say something too like speaking does not you know unless it's like this monologue but monologue. <laughs> you know there are people who pay for that <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on. Um. Doo -doo -doo. He is he is wriggling and struggling against you, and um. 
Gosh, I'm trying to think of why you would think to ask him things that it's like... <laughs> um, he's like, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Just let me go, just let me go, I'll stop. Okay? Um, nobody really sent me so much. Um, but just... I just, I just, I just gotta go. Please let me go and heal. I, I'll, I won't bother this unicorn again. Unicorn? I'm sorry. This unicorn. What about any unicorn? I mean, no other unicorn really matters like this one does. I look at third, so. Murdering them. So we have time to go all up to, to like the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can kind of be loosely out yeah. of combat if you want. Because I would love to, like, let Sid out of his body and, like, pick him up and, like, pin him against a wall instead. Just, like, in, in a threatening way, not in the sense. No, not way. <laughs> yeah, it can be both. Unless Sid wants to do it. It can be both. Yeah. So I can go, like, okay. Tell us why the unicorn is important. We'll see if you can go. Tell, uh, oh. Uh. I mean, what? Do, it doesn't really matter to, to you guys. I'm just gonna. I, you I don't know that. Don't assume that. You're not in the position to make assumptions. I say make an intimidation check with advantage. Here. Oh. Huh? Really? <gasps> Detect thoughts? Yo! Something like that? No. You're wearing it and mm. attuned to it, right? If you're not, I mean, you can say that you attuned to it overnight, because... Obviously. Mm. Like, during your rest. Yeah, you've had it for a while now. You should be attuned to it. Also, I roll a 23. 23. Helps. Um, that definitely helps. Are you gonna use the helmet, Sid? Okay. And he's like, okay, 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 listen, listen, listen. Nobody, nobody cares about me, okay? Nobody, <laughs> nobody wants to, like, nobody's gonna barter with you guys if you guys try to hold me hostage. I just, just, if you just let me go, it'll be fine. Um, yeah. Uh, we, we we just we we just need the unicorn's horn, okay? That's too damn bad. <laughs> it's just like. And you need the horn. Why? It's none of your business. <clears throat> that's why. Uh, says the person who life is in our hands. I believe whatever we want's our business right now. Look, either kill me or let me go. I don't want to talk to y'all. I don't care what you want. I don't care how you feel about this unicorn. I just want to get out of here. Huh? I vote we kill him. He's annoying. Oh, you're, you're muted. Walks off to Sunny. Sunny? Uh-oh. Hi, I was totally muted. Oh, hello. Uh, I will just, um, when he says that, okay, blah, 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 I'm just gonna, like, slowly start squizzing his neck then because it's a, like I'm Walt and Penny I'm like okay I guess it's death then and just like okay <gasps> just go for it yeah literally See, like I'd rather like, die than tell y'all yeah, what I like, was doing we're like okay okay and then happy to help see if he you know changes his mind before I got to be chaotic murder goblins mom's gone <laughs> <laughs> mom's, mom's gone too. we're Mom. murdering everyone <laughs> yeah so he's gonna take another damage from that While she squeezes harder and harder, you have a few seconds left to think about that decision. He's like, look, that's a horrible death, by the way. That, kid <laughs> that is absolutely Christ. horrible. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he's like, you, he has this look on his face, like he's, he's like, fine, I'll just die then. Like he, so he has no interest. Adults, in as long as you guys are set on killing him and being like enemies basically you know 
is... How much torture would it be for us to heal him and then injure him again? No, we're not... No, we're my not, God. That, that, that's no. a bit far. That, that's <laughs> a bit far to that guy. I have an idea. <laughs> I would yes. he, he said that nobody cares about him. Did anybody ever ask if he wanted somebody to care about him? <laughs> Oh, no. It's what always is what is he doing well, here, when, not how when, is he doing? Oh <laughs> my god! I can't imagine like the cute little fairy like. Yeah, as he's choking, Rip just like like hovers in front of him and is like, "Well, we could care about you if you want to cooperate. Like we could be your friend. What if what if we hug you instead? <laughs> <laughs> what if we, like me and Milo, me looking at Juniper, going like, Rip, I think I got your food." <laughs> But oh shit! Going. There we go. We need to feed the out there. I mean, but what? Are, what are? I'm just con like, confused on what his motives are. If absolutely no, tell us. That's him. the point. But he's like, nobody cares about me. They won't care if I die. So just let me go. So like, what is he doing there? Why? What is? What are his motives? <laughs> like his particular motives. Like if he's working with a group of people, he won't tell us those. But I'm wondering why he wants to work with that group of people if they don't like him. Let me. Google something real quick. I'm thinking too hard. No, <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're not, not at all. Yeah. Really not. You're asking. <laughs> Let me just see if, um, like, there could potentially be anything recognizable to any of you. Or. Um, I'll say Silvara. One, one more sec. I just want to see if there's some kind of symbol they could have or something. I'll say make a perception check. Okay. Um, or insight yeah. check. Would you say insight for uh, like searching for recognizable symbols? If it's for something visual and not like a I would say probably just reaction, perception. Think, no. Oh, well, I just rolled perception and I rolled a seven. I'm not rolling digital dice without my friend today. Heck. Okay. Should have just tried to make or, my brain do math. Alternatively, um, either that with advantage or religion with advantage. No, oh, but with advantage, I'll just roll another perception check. Uh, 16. That one's better. Yeah, so you do see, like, so he's got his hands up, like, resisting Wa, um, and you see on his bracers, there's embossed into the leather, there is a symbol of Orcus, and oh, good. Uh, um, overlaid on it is an hourglass, like the hourglass coven. Uh, well, either he has ties to the 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 the, the bitch triplets that we're hunting <laughs> for, or he stole something from someone that has ties to them. But apparently, they might be also involved with Orcus, which makes this far messier than we signed up for and stressful. Very, very, very bad. Hold on. I'm trying to I'm think of a way like I would, in character, would explain this and not how Laura would explain <laughs> it. Um, uh, like in Greek mythology, he is a uh, enforcer of the underworld, punishes those who break their vows. But um, in D&D, &D, um, prince, prince of the Hells, very, very high up uh, in the demon circles. A uh, name I heard about as a kid. A name that was used kind of like a boogeyman in my childhood, I guess, one might say. Uh, Lord of Undeath, another very popular name for him. The Shadow That Was, the Blood Lord. None of them very flattering. <laughs> and I would say Riv knows a little bit of that information too, just from being around. You know, the Witchlight Carnival in general, it travels so many places and everything, okay. and is primarily, like, 
its home base is the Feywild. So has it gone to hells before? Because it can. I don't. Play near travel. It might have. Even I, demons like carnival. You know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it, it very know. well might have. Um, but also, you had heard of um, the League of Malevolence. Um, and you don't really know anything about them, but you know that they are associated with the Hourglass Coven and that um, that they have some pe some followers of Orcus among them. Okay. But. So I never wondered about if he wanted a husband. If I know that. Yeah, you probably did not. Yeah. <laughs> if well, maybe you did if you didn't notice the emblem on his bracers, but <laughs> but right, well, if you notice those, well, basically then. what it means is I'm even more okay with killing him. <laughs> I'm basically just waiting for the party's confirmation. Like, if he's not showing that he's gonna do anything, and everyone's like, yeah, sure, I'm like, fine. Goodbye, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's just a little... But you did have... Yeah, go for it. Oh, you're not just wearing it? <laughs> it is ugly. <laughs> you don't have to be wearing it to be attuned. You don't? I would think you would. You might be stuck with an ugly helmet. Because I, th I feel like if you attune to it, Any you're attuned item to it. Any must be used or worn to make use of it. A helm of confidence. So you have to wear it to use it, but you have to wear we it to stay it. attuned a to it. A character can attune yeah. and remain attuned without wearing it, but would only be able to use it. Okay, while wearing nice. It. I mean, you cannot you wear it and not lose the attunement, but you need to be wearing it to, to use, use it. it. Okay, oh, yeah, no, nice. There you that. go. You don't have to wear an ugly helmet. <laughs> Unless you want to use that helmet. Which? To wear it. Yeah, he's about to, right? Yeah. Put it on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I would Although say while, make a deception. Intimidation or deception? You don't have to tell me which. Mm. And just let me know. Roll. Oh no. If you had a minus one, then. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say as a warlock, but you're not a warlock. Yeah, he's. A... Well, charisma is still a sorcerer stat, too. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <sighs> right, the stress. Oh. A 12. Uh, he, you see hesitation, and you can definitely use that gap of hesitation for what you're about to do, but you're not sure that he is sufficiently terrified or convinced. But go ahead and use the helmet if that's what you're planning. And what does he have to do? Make a save or wisdom, intelligence? If it's for your brain, it's typically wisdom. Like things against, like you know, charms or mental control typically tend to be wisdom saves. That's interesting that it doesn't say. Um. Dang. That's a 15. That was with disadvantage. Yikes. Are you pushing into his brain or like how, where is the description? How does it work? Okay. And so that is wisdom, right? Sorry, I was trying to look at your characters. Um, Surface thoughts, though, I'll say you get surface thoughts because he is, his mind is racing. Um, he is thinking of, um, he is thinking of a wizard named Ringle Run. 
who is trapped in Zabilna's palace and has a staff that uh, the self-proclaimed leader of the League of Malevolence wants. Um, so you just, you're basically just hearing, like, I'm just trying to get this unicorn horn so he can unfreeze this asshole Ringle Run and take a staff for Kellic so he can get off my ass kind of deal. There we go, now we know. And you see flashes of, like, a human priest of Orcus. Um, and just by the way that Kel that uh, this guy's mind turns um, when those flashes come up. Like, this guy's a pretentious dick <laughs> and thinks highly of himself. Um, but you don't get, like, names or anything like that. Well, you got the leader's name, I guess, Ringle but Run. Ringle Run and, and Kellick is the leader. But yeah, this other guy, you just see a different human. But you know he's a priest of Orcas because you see the symbol on the robes, on his robes. Um, and yeah, he just has that vibe of like, he thinks very highly of himself, like probably power hungry, you know. Um, and then you see a human warlock woman. Um, and the magic that she's wielding you don't know how to explain it, but it's very, like, Feywild-esque in terms of how it looks and stuff. Um, but that's kind of it. And you get, like, when you see when you see her flash across his mind, um, you get a sense of, like, worry. Like, not fear of her, but, like, worry for her. And as you're saying that, you hear the unicorn in all of your heads say, like, that sounds pretty reasonable, considering what I just told you about my mate's horn and why it's missing. Yep. Well then. Well, now we can kill him. <laughs> you also, sorry, you see one more flash of a flying rocking horse. Um, make a perception check with disadvantage for me since you're seeing just like brief flashes. Oh shit, okay. So hey. you notice that this flying rocking horse um, First of all, someone that you presume to be Granny Nightshade uh, is riding it, and you notice that there's a horn broken off. So do with that information what you will. I mean, I 
I thought the whole wording was, oh, I'll do this, free this guy. No, there was, to get him off my ass was, it doesn't sound like he was doing it for the right reasons. This sounds like it was the, I'm in a sticky situation, do this to curry favor and get out of it. I'm, I'm still on team, team choke him. <laughs> Not in the fun way. Was just waiting for that. Just like, <laughs> yeah, the, all of this happening and was just like, yeah. <laughs> the guy's probably like yeah he's he's not struggling as much he's getting weaker for sure mm -hmm. um would like to ask the unicorn because he did attack the unicorn specifically, and I'm assuming it's still like, you know, doing the whole mind stuff. If but that's a like, okay, you, I feel like you're the you know, ultimately the biggest victim here. Do you how do you feel about this creature staying alive? And can you just make sure that I'm pretty sure she would basically be um, benevolent, but just want to make sure. Oh, I'm trying to scroll and it's being a butt. Um, I'm not seeing her. RP thing. So I'm just gonna say that, yeah, she says I am not going to help this creature. In fact, I'm going to be thinking of ways to ward against I guess all creatures until Prismir is uh, back in Zabilna's rule. But, um, I, I leave it to your discretion because he, he tried to attack me. I'm sure he had his motives, um, but I... I don't know. I don't know what See, to do now here. he's ruining it for everyone. Now no one gets to talk to the beautiful unicorn. <laughs> Thanks for this fucker. Um, one thing I'll say to Sid... Both as because, like, I was the one that got the helm, and also from out of character in case the party doesn't know. Um, since you have the, the helm and you're using it, you could command him, suggest him to do something, and maybe, you know, suggest that he goes far away and, you know, rethink his life choices if you want to keep him alive, if you're wanting to do that. Because mechanically, you have a suggestion that you can use on the person you cast me to detect thoughts on. So you could, if you want to, you know, spare his life. Wouldn't that eventually wear off? And then... Like eight hours, I think. Okay, great. We're protecting the unicorn for a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm still on deep killing. Technically, it didn't. He just got the surface thoughts. Ah, okay. But didn't you, uh, roll for the... Not intimidation, sorry. You rolled to see if he, if he would believe... Like, if he would fall for your, um... What's the word? Deception? Taunt? Like, yeah, because you were like, ah, this is gonna be very bad for you. And I think he just, he saved the... Is this gonna be bad? Like, he... I feel like you rolled before the using the helm, but I may be mistaken. Also, that is well. I, I rolled with disadvantage for the wisdom saving throw as well, and uh, he succeeded oh, that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, you're right. You're right. I forgot about that completely. That's true. Never mind. Yeah, things. I was like, dang. I wish it was intelligence because he has a plus zero to that, and it would have failed. But <laughs> nope, that's fair. No, Never mind then. You. Oh. 
yeah. the, 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 the idea was there, but I guess we, the execution on the dice right said now. no. No. It would give her the same amount of time as if you suggested that, yeah, because, you know, long rest, eight hours, whatever. Yeah, like instead of killing him, I'm just gonna. You can like, knock him out and, like, tie him up. On, uh, yeah. Or whatever. Sure. Yeah. So if you want to knock him out, go for it. If you want to kill him, go for it too, but. <laughs> I respect Sid's decision. <laughs> It said no. So unless the rest of the party's like, no, fuck that bitch, break his neck in half, then no, I'm gonna just... I know we have at least one that feels that way. <laughs> Aww. Sid just saw a cute girl and... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm gonna hit his head right. on, like, against the wall and just like knock yeah. him out. Yeah, knock him out. And the uh, unicorn, Lamorna, um, she she says that you're more than welcome to rest along the lake if you would like. Um, if you if you want to come back at night to rest at the lake or um, if you want to Maybe take a quick rest, rest here, next to the the knocked out guy, so that he doesn't wake up, and then while we're chilling, try and like shank us in the back. Well, he is tied up too, right? Or were you not tying him up? I didn't think that was. I yeah, I didn't. I oh, okay. legit thought that like I hit his head and walked away, but we oh yeah, that sure feels like a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> um, but. It is still, like, you guys left in the morning. It only took you about two hours yeah, to like get midday. here. Like, yeah, it's at best midday, at latest, so. I mean, we could just start heading towards Loon Lurch. Yeah. And just leave him to think about his life while he's unconscious, and then wake up and move <laughs> on his merry way. You could throw him in the, you could tie him up and throw him in the new chariot you have, too. <laughs> I don't want to take this guy with us. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Kidnap him. Leave him as bait for the uh, Jabberwock. Yep. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she says that you all have a safe space here. If she figures out how to ward against maybe followers of Orcus specifically or something, like, she's going to figure something out, but you guys will be welcome still. Um, I I will vote for, we just start, because there's so, so much day left. Like yeah, 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 yeah. to stay here, even though it's pretty scenery, but I'll tell the group we got shit to do. We should head. We'll find somewhere to camp along the way. But let's just keep going. Yeah. This asshole. And yeah. Uh, it's also both. Of, I I seem almost like how I was like cranky at the end of the day yesterday. But it's only midday. It's like that that has come on pretty fast. So it has a different air to it than like the I'm tired cranky. It seems like, for lack of a better word, it's almost like Silvara's in a mild like triggered state right now, and now my temper's done for the day. And no. I'm like, like the normal like weird levity in the way she talks is gone, or just kind of like curt clipped like mannerisms right now. You, yeah. um, I did see your message, Sunny. So if we want to call it here, we can. I would like to do one more thing before we sure. call mm -hmm. it, but yeah, I also am down for that. Okay. Because, so as we're walking away, I'm kept, I want to pull a, like, I'm going to say, oh, um, I'm going to, actually, before this, I'm going to sleight of hand my ring back off, and hopefully no one sees Tommy take it off. Do you want me to roll for that? Sure, yeah. Now that Miri's gone, uh, it, it'll be easy to roll above people's passive I'm using perceptions. using real dice now, <laughs> so I'm trying to math that's the 22 yeah no one notices and then i'm gonna go oh i think i dropped my ring back there i'm hold on i'll be right back and i'm just like just keep going i'll catch up and i want to run back to where we left the guy okay uh i'm gonna put my ring back on as if i found it back there as if i dropped it and even though it's unconscious just lean down um quickly in his ear and just be like no one who would kill something so pure for such petty goals t 
deserves to share this air with us. Sorry. And just quickly stab him with oh. my dagger. Or, or like, maybe like killing blow and then catch back up to the group. Be like, oh, it! Shit. <laughs> and then... Yes. Um, I will also say make a deception check for your party. Sure. Oh, dear. 11? <coughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I think so I guess so. that's a deception upon returning when I'm like, oh, I found it, and I put the ring back on. Right. Do I get advantage on the check because I did successfully hide the ring? I'm like, oh, I forgot it, and I'm coming back, and I'm like, I have it. Feel free to say no. I'm just being um, cheap. <laughs> I'll say instead of advantage, you could act like you have bless and do add a d4 <laughs> if you want. Wait, I have, I have the boon, don't I? I have the boon thing once per day. That thing that we have that you mentioned at the start of the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, what does it do? Is it added to It's like a free I think it, it is a bless all all yeah. day, basically. Yeah, all right. Let me add, but I don't think you it. need it. What did you say you rolled? I or you didn't roll yet? An 11. So I, I'm gonna add the d4. Okay, I still feel like that's not good enough. <laughs> it almost okay, so is now it's, a, now. it's a 14. Okay, wait, Using I'm pretty sure. Luthien, what's your passive insight? Okay, so 15. Uh -oh. Yeah, Lu oh. Luthien's the only one though. <laughs> Okay, I'm Luthien, pretty sure. Luthien is like, she's lying. She did something. Yeah, you don't know what, <laughs> obviously. would Luthien say anything? Like, yeah, would Luthien say anything? I, That's the question. I just look at Laura like, uh, uh, she's more like... <laughs> Mental note. Where did you say you dropped that ring? <laughs> oh, well, remember, I had to take it off because I couldn't hear the unicorn in my head. But I guess I must have went taking it off, and then we got attacked. I think I dropped it. So I had to go back and pick it up. Because it, it's a ring that protects my mind from unwanted intrusions okay all that almost true <laughs> do, do, do. and on that note <laughs> oh wait no sit as a thing Hey, your passive insight is too low. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm just I mean, saying. when I'm doing when I'm doing flippy dippy shit, I am concentrating very hard and I'm focusing on doing the flippy dippy shit. When we were just having a conversation and then something comes running out of the woods, looking as creepy as that fucker did. Let's be honest. <laughs> I, you know, you have a look, you have a moment, you jump. I'm not immune. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's called a surprise round, Steve. It's called a surprise. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, shorter session today because life and technical Late difficulties <laughs> and all of that. Because I'm just the best, most responsible DM. Um, <laughs> hey, I got dessert out of it, though. Ooh. I think I'm pretty sure this is baklava. I haven't had it in a long time, but I'm really excited. My friend's mom made it for me. I'm so excited. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> but I think, are we all good for next Wednesday? As should of be. now, at least? Yes. Should be, yeah. So yeah, I think next Wednesday we should be back, and I will update the overlays by then. <laughs> um, it's going to be a whole other pain in the butt, but it's okay. <laughs> you got this, you believe in you. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back then. Um, I'm trying to think, is anybody, is anybody that's cool live? Cool people only. Uh, no. I think, uh, I think either Jill or Ash is live. Oh, Ashlina, right? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Let me... Oh my god. They're playing Palea. I'm so obsessed with Palea. Yes. Okay, so you know what? We'll go hang out <laughs> with Ash while she plays some Palea. Yeah. I, 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 I've been loving Palea and Baldur's Gate, but like, I need to play one or the other. Oh my god, I know. No, the, the torn. See, me, it was Baldur's Gate and Stray Gods, but Stray Gods were short, so I'm like, this is great. One we do gun. have do a raid game. message. Ooh, my bot's not on. We don't have a raid message today. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. We'll go hang out with Ash. Thank you, everyone, for... Oh, boy. For your patience, for losing your dice, um, and Bye. for hanging out. Let's go say hi to Ash. Wait.